me out the front. I aim to get through as many people as I can in the time. Most things only take me three or four minutes. Right, now I can get a mic to you. So I need to know your first name. Zoe. Zoe, yep. And what's happened to your knee? I fell on my knee a number of weeks ago. You'll need to hold Sorry. that right up. I fell on my knee a number of weeks ago. There we go. That works better. I fell on my, my knee a number of weeks ago. I've had x-rays and now I just I cannot bend down. I can't kneel, can't cross my legs. Can't do right. So that, it's your right knee? Yes. Right, okay, so that's what I'm going to work on. So as I'm working on Zoe, what happens is all healing comes from a higher power that we are all a part of. So it's never me doing the healing. I explain to you what's happening. Um, hopefully I'll keep you engaged through this 45 minutes or so, um, but it's not me doing the healing. So what's happening is one of my guides has started to move my left hand. And in the thumb, something really, really weird is happening in my thumb. It's like the end of my thumb's flying off. That's how it feels in there when I, I know that's not happening. Now, this hand has now started working as well. So I don't need to be in the space around the knee. Just try extending it for me, Zoe. Oh, wow. Go on, talk into the microphone, please. <laughs> wow. It still clicks, but I can move it. Wow, but you can see this isn't made up, can't you? Yeah? So I'm very, very fast at this, hence why I have a TV show in New Zealand. Now, um, so I'm not moving my arms. Now that will seem really, really weird to you, but let me ask you this. How many of you have sat in front of the telly on a night and then you realise you've drunk a bottle of wine and you do not remember drinking it? <laughs> yeah, and it was a spirit. It was a spirit, blame the spirit, spirit, spirits, and they took you off into the kitchen and they got it out the cupboard. They, and, and, I don't remember drinking that, yeah? Right, so, now what's happening is you can't see it, but I've got blood running down the front of her knee. Clearly there isn't any blood there. Now just try. Isn't that amazing? I know, I know, this is the real. Yes, yes. Amazing. I haven't been able to do that in weeks and weeks. Now, we've got the husband looking surprised here, haven't we? So we know it's not, this is for real. So how does this work? And I'm not a saint. <laughs> I've got my partner here, he'll tell you I'm not a saint. Um, but what happened for me 24 years ago, when spirit awoke me, I, I first started work as a medium, and that's what I'm best known for, work as a medium. And then I went to see John of God in Abidjania in Brazil. And while I was there, the spirit spoke to me and said, um, I had no discernment. I was working with whatever spirit came into my space and talked to me and I was doing what they told me. And they basically said this to me, if a stranger knocked on your door in the dead of night and said, come with us, come with us, would you go with them? And I got kids age four and six and I said, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have gone with them. They said, but that's what you're doing for spirit. You have to learn discernment. And they recommended that I only work with those spirits that were aligned with the will of God. Now, I'm not religious. I'm not any particular denomination. I was raised uh, just at school. We had some religious instruction. A lot of the beings that work with me, we'd recognize in the Roman Catholic faith, but I've been guided to stay away from religion because it turns people off, yeah? And so I work with a team of guides who may or may not be religious. <laughs> How's that feeling, Zoe? Much better. Awesome, marks out a 10 for this surgeon. <laughs> at least an eight. Awesome. So we've still got a little bit to do, have we? Yep, okay. Let's see what we've to do. I've been busy talking to you. Now Now he's got a pair of scissors out. So if he's doing surgery, um, over in Brazil, when they work through John of God, they literally use scalpels and you will see things removed from the bodies. Here, I work just using sound and light technology. It's very, very fast. Um, it doesn't take anything out of me. If you look at me at the end of the session, I look better than at the beginning. If you want to know a good healer, they should look healthy and vibrant and alive. Don't go to anybody looking grey because they've got the energy from the last person that they've worked with. Yeah? Um, one of the things that helps me maintain the quality of my consciousness, there's several things. Um, one is um, a, a rice that's on, I don't know the stall number, but it's next to my stall. I'm on D58. It's a micronized purple rice. I came across that two years ago. 
I've taken five years off my face in two years. Thrilled with the stuff. And it helps you lose weight as well, ladies. But it gives you energy and it helps you be more conscious. The other thing that I've found absolutely invaluable is Reiki healing. This isn't Reiki healing, but I use Reiki healing every single day of my life to clear me as a vessel. Yeah? Meditation is key. If you want that spiritually advanced, stop living in here. Get a disciplined meditation practice. Even if you start with one minute a day. One minute a day. Yeah? Get, because that's the name of the game. The name of the game is becoming more conscious. Now, I'm just going to give you my hand to feel. You can feel how cold that is because I'm working on bone. Yeah, I shouldn't have cold hands like this, so it is supernatural. Yeah, because it's warm in here, isn't it? Like you feel my hands. So I'm working on the bone at the moment. Anybody else want to feel my hands? Yeah. Cool. Whoa. Right, so they just told me to stand back. So let, let, what could you not do before? Sit down cross-legged. Sorry, sit right. down cross-legged. Let's give it a go. Oh, wow! <laughs> I think he just got 10, don't you? Is that a 10, then? Yes, High five. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome.